Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. In this video, I'll show you the best settings to cut glitter cardstock with the Cricut machines. I'll use this generic glitter cardstock I bought at the craft store. I'll be using this because this is what most people use. I'm in the sign space and selected Maker 3, the top of the line. Now, go to Shapes. I'll use a star, but you could use the image of your preference. Click on Make it. When using glitter cardstock, you'll need a mat. I recommend using a standard grip mat. Continue. I'll move it slightly inside. If your mat is new, you don't need to worry. Continue. Select the material. Click on Browse all materials and type glitter in the search box. Select Glitter cardstock. This setting is based on Cricut glitter cardstock. Since I'm using a generic brand that I know is thicker than the Cricut brand, I'll add more pressure. Now I'll load the material. Now in this window, I'll select Explore 3. The process will be the same. Click on Make it. Select On Mat. Continue. Select the material, browse all materials, and select glitter cardstock. Add more pressure and load the material. In case you didn't know, you can have multiple windows of design space on your computer. As you can see here, I have this link to Maker 3 and this to Explore 3. To open another window, go to File, New Window, and now I have three windows open. I'll send to cut these pieces of glitter cardstock using Cricut Maker 3 and Explore 3. I'm using the fine point blade on both machines. For this material, I recommend using the standard grip mat. You can place the mat this way or the opposite side. This is the stickiest area on my mat. To get the best result, is keep that your mat is in good condition. Load the material. I fast forwarded this part of the video, cutting this material took about 45 seconds. Now I'll check the cut with Maker 3. As you can see, the cut is perfect. Now I'll check the cut with Explore 3. As you can see, it didn't cut all the way. From experience cutting this material, I knew this will happen, but I want to show you so you could see that even though I was using the same settings, Cricut Maker has more cutting power. I didn't add Cricut Joy in this video because it doesn't have enough cutting power to cut thicker materials. Now I'll send to cut another piece using Explore 3, Delete Point Blade and the settings for a custom material. Now I'm back in design space, I select Explore 3, go to the menu, click on Manage Custom Materials, select Explore 3. I've already had a custom material, but I'll show you how to create one. I create these materials and I like to add my initials, this way I know what material I make. Go to the bottom of the list, add a new material. For this example, I'll name it AA Glitter Cardstock. Save. Now I'll edit the settings. I'll select the deep cut blade, pressure to 70 and 3 passes. Now save. If you're wondering why to 70, I reference the default settings of Glitter Cardstock. Close the window. Now I'll send it to cut using the custom material. Click on Make it. On mat, continue, select the material, browse all materials and select AA glitter cardstock. Load the material. As you can see, I have the deep cut blade in place. Now load the material. I fast forwarded this part of the video, cutting this material took about 55 seconds. Now the cut is perfect. You can try using the fine point blade, but I recommend getting the deep cut blade if you are using this machine. 
This material tends to have many residues, especially generic brands, so remember to clean your blade after using this material. Now I'll cut with Cricut Maker, click on Make It, on Mat, Continue, select the material, go to Browse All Materials and select Glitter Cardstock. I'll add more pressure since I'm using a generic glitter cardstock that I know is thicker than the Cricut brand. Load the material. In this window, I'll be using Explorer 2. For this, select the Explorer family. Like Explorer 3, I know from an experience that I must create a custom material to get glitter cardstock with Explorer 2. Go to the menu. Click on Manage Custom Materials. Here is show you a list of materials that can be cut with your machine. I've already created a costume material, but I'll show you the process again. Go to the button of the list, click on add a new material. I'll name it AA Glitter Cardstock. Save it. Edit the settings. I'll use the same that I used for Explore 3. You must create a new material for each device if you have more than one Cricut machine. Send it to cut using the settings for the new material. Click on Make it. On Mat. Continue. Select the material. Browse all materials and select AA Glitter Cardstock. Load the material. Here I have Maker and Explore Air 2. In Maker I use the fine point blade and in Explore I use the deep cut blade. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process to cut this material took about 55 seconds. Now I'll check the cut with Cricut Maker and the cut is perfect. I'll check the cut with Explorer 2 and the cut is also perfect. If you use this material often, I recommend getting an exclusive blade. If you use a machine from the Maker series, you can buy another fine point blade or get a deep cut blade and create a custom material to use it. If you're using a machine from the Explore series, it's a must to get the deep cut blade. As mentioned, I recommend cleaning the blade afterwards when using glitter cardstock. Push the plunger and carefully clean the blade. You could also push the plunger on top of the housing and release the blade. Now you can clean the blade independently. When you are done, place it in the same spot. The magnet on the inside will hold it in place. I hope you like this video and you find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. See you in the following video. Ciao, ciao.